Hello everybody, uh, Sean Prokus, pastor of Digital Ministries here at Northside. And this week with the Entrusted series, we're talking about mission. So I want to read to you one of my favorite sections of scripture. Um, it's Paul's letter to the Philippians, it's chapter two, and it starts with verse five where it says this. It says, let me read this off my iPad down here for you. Uh, In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus who being in very nature God did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. And that's Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. So as we talk about mission this week, um, uh, everybody's looking for purpose in their life. Everybody's asking, what did God create me to do? Or what am I called to? And obviously there's a personal layer to that in terms of like, for example, I work at the church. And I feel called at this season in my life to work in areas of like digital ministry, communications, video, things like that. Um, and you probably have something that's radically different. That's your personal calling. But we all have a critical calling that is universal. We all have a critical calling or a critical mission that applies to all of us, no matter who you are. And really what we see in Philippians chapter 2 here is part of that calling for all of us, no matter whether you're an accountant, no matter whether you're a designer, no matter whether you work in construction, whether you're a stay-at-home dad, no matter what you are, we're all called to this. And there are three key things for here for in this verse for us to stay on mission. Um, number one is this, is humility. It says in the text, it says, who being in the very nature of God, talking about Jesus, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage, Rather, he made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant and being made in human likeness. When we are on mission, we are humble. A lot of times when we think of mission, we think of driven guys or driven women who are these CEO types who are running things. And that's what it means to be on mission. And Jesus accomplished his purpose um, and God's plan for him in the world through humility. And so when we're on mission, we always are first and foremost, we're humble. Uh, there, it's something to be said about being ambitious, but ambition should never overtake our humility. Uh, the second thing is, is this, that we see from this text is sacrifice. When we are on mission, we're sacrificial. It says this in verse eight, it says, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by being obedient to death, even death on a cross. In other words, it's saying here that in order for Jesus to fulfill God's mission in his life, he had to be obedient unto death. He sacrificed. When you are on mission, when you are living in calling, you are giving to the point that it hurts. Um, there's this whole idea of evaluating your life in your time, in your finances, in your talents, in your temperament, in all things, with your family, with your work, uh, your service at church, um, in some way, shape, or form, if you are living in mission um, and on mission with God, you're being sacrificial. Um, and that's a non-negotiable. The third thing is this, it says in the text, is it says this, is it says, in verse nine, it says, therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. In other words, when we are on mission, we worship Jesus. Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess. If you think you're on mission for Jesus, but failing to bow, you're not on mission for Jesus. Um, sometimes we get caught up into the Christian lifestyle, the work of ministry, um, being engaged in the church, and we leave Jesus behind. Um, we begin to worship um, ourselves in the context of service of the church, whether that's our family in the workplace or actual service in the church, and, and we begin to worship ourselves. Sometimes the work of God that we're doing destroys the work of God in us. 
And so I just want to close with a really quick little story. Um, there's a story about a woman who she discovers this rock. And when she discovers this rock, um, she notices on it flakes of gold. This is during the gold rush. So she begins to take that rock and she's rubbing it with her hand and she's seeing more and more gold dust. So she's thinking that this un it encapsulated in this rock is gold. It's just covered in caked up mud and dirt and things like that. So she's working and she's working and she's working really hard. She's seeing more and more and more gold, gold flakes, gold flakes. There must be gold in this. Only to find out that she turns over her hand and she's an older woman and it's not gold she's found in the rock. She's been wearing away her precious wedding band that's been handed down across multiple generations. So in thinking that she's got a nugget of gold, she's in fact destroying something that's very precious to her. When it comes to being on mission for Jesus, um, remember to worship Jesus. Because um, sometimes we get caught up into being on mission for Jesus and doing ministry in all of our different contexts. And we're rubbing and we're rubbing and we're rubbing. And what we're rubbing away, if we're not careful, is, is Jesus in our lives, our worship. So our worship can never be compromised. So number one, I just want to remind you again, humility. Number two, sacrifice. If you're living on mission, you're going to be sacrificial. And number three, if you're living on mission, you're worshiping well and not leaving Jesus behind. You're not rubbing him away for something else. You're welcoming, welcoming him in. So thank you guys. Have a, have a great day. God bless.